Bad Plays Games. Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Bed, and this is the Satisfactory Plus mod for the game Satisfactory. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to get all of those space elevator parts manufactured, and I did do some. You can see up in the top right there. And I was going to expand the power. So I did that right here. I needed 33 and a third of these modules here. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then 34 right there. And, oh, I took it down. Uh, and then it just got to be too expensive. Look at this. Look at all of the stuff you need to make one of these things. 225 heavy modular frames, just for this one blueprint. That's not even all, there's something else that's really hard. Oh, the Invar pipes. Um, maybe it's better to look up here. Invar pipes. We need a ton. 200 Invar pipes for this thing. It just got to be way too costly to do it. So what I did was, I said, okay, let's let's reduce that. I'm having a mare. You, you'll see in a second, I, I got lots to explain. Uh, it's too costly. Those were too costly and I need to build 50. 50 of those things to get rid of the diesel fuel, right? So so what I did was I took the boiler Mark II and replaced it with a Mark I. We still have the solution heating, uh, the solution heater, so we still need five modular frames for each unit, and there's five in each blueprint, and we need 50 total units, right? So we switched to a boiler Mark I, turbine Mark I, and then the MV generator, because the turbine Mark II needs the two expensive items and the HV generator needs lots of the two expensive items, right? So we just, we ran out of all those items. I didn't have enough to do it. So I made a blueprint of this one, much cheaper. It's still gonna work. We're just not going to get the 33 gigawatts like I teased in the in the thumbnail of the last video. Also last episode, we set up this temporary stuff and you'll see in a second, I gotta pull it out. Look at, look at how much it lags my game. I don't know if it's just the culmination of everything being like right here, but holy moly, my game lags like crazy. Like, yeah, so I just, I can't open the stuff. I can't fly around. I can't play like this and it's right here. So we're going to rip all of this stuff out and see if, try to figure out what's causing it. If it's just the fact that we have that floor above us with all of that processing, then there's not much we can do. I might try to just, we'll build somewhere else, I guess. So we'll, we'll try to go somewhere else. Then this gave us issues and not even stators. We ran out of rotors, which was a first. And that's because we ran out of wire, just regular copper wire, ran out of it. We're also completely out of modular frames. Modular frames have been automated because they're needed for the heavy modular frames and for the computers. And guess what? We ran out of, you're not gonna believe this, iron rods. We're running out of the simplest little parts and it's driving me nuts. But we're just gonna go one at a time and fix all of the issues. I, I had thought that maybe I would just like go somewhere new and just pull in a ton of resources and just start manufacturing everything from the beginning again. But we're not gonna do that. Ooh, the crushed iron comes right into here. You know what? Check this out. I'm going to exit that. I need a Faxit receiver. All right, so this crushed iron right here we need for Invar. So let's get crushed iron into the system. I got some more things to say too, but we'll we'll do this first and then we'll get into that. Iron. Alright, now let's run over and put it into the Invar so I don't forget. Oh, another thing that keeps messing up. Uh, we keep running out of sulfurous gas because we keep running out of sulfur powder. So we can fix that really quick as well. So let's get a sender, fax it item sender. And there. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hopeful, and hopefully we're able to sort this out so I don't have to move too far away. And I don't want to restart. I, I had said I was, you know, I was thinking that, you know, we'll just go back to basics and automate everything like that. But remember, we're trying to rush to the end here. So check around, our methane container was full, so I'm just gonna check all of these really quick. And empty those. Dirty water, no thanks. And 
we have a ton of production that we never even got to using. This molten iron right here is barely used. This one's not used at all. This one's not used at all. That tin is barely used. That tin is used. Copper unused. Copper unused. Copper unused. Well, I know that's not true. One of these is being used a little. There, it must be this one. Because I know that we're using that to make some wire and cable. So, what we can do is put it into the faxit system. So let's do that. Let's grab some senders. Uh, no, no, receivers, I mean. You know what? I'm not going to worry about if it's being used already. Because if we do something and something runs out, we'll fix it. It's just kind of the mode we're in right now. I'm a pioneer man on a mission, so I got things to do. So we'll just clip all these in. I'll plug them all into the network. I'll set maximum amounts in the Faxit system. And then we can start making the components we need. All right, so we added the crushed iron to the Invar, so that's better. Oh, we need to do sulfur. Let's do that really quick before I forget. We need more sulfur powder. So let's grab some crushers. I don't really know what numbers we're dealing with. Wait, yes, I do right there. It's on our to-do list still on the right side there. 600 sulfur per minute. Hundred divided by 45. 13 and a third. Now we'll power them and then get senders. We'll merge them just into one line. And then let's see, those have a 120. 30, 60, 90, 120. So into a into a receiver. And then this one needs to be a mark three. There. Not sure if that's enough or if it's too much or what. But it's better than what we had. Alright, let's do um let's do what? Let's do modular frames. Okay, modular frames need reinforced iron plates and iron rods. So let's look at the iron rods. Let's see if I can just extrude them from yes, this right here. That makes 120, so we need one solidifier and cooler. We need molten iron and water. So we need fluid senders. All right, and do we have a fancy way of making reinforced iron plates? So one machine needs 20 per minute modular frames for heavy modular frames and 15 per minute for computers. So we wanna make 35 per minute. So we're making 120 iron rods per minute in this, right? 120 per minute. So let's just use them all, right? Let's make 60 modular frames per minute. So we need three assemblers. I'm guessing they come out right there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful spaghetti. And how many reinforced iron plates do we need? 30 per minute. We have another solidifier and cooler because we're going to need it for the wire. If we're doing six of these, we need 180 per minute iron wire. So no casted iron wire. Doesn't sound right. But it is right. So we need 180 of this. So we need half as many iron rods. So we'll just do another cast iron rod. Something like that. Plug it in. Cast. Casted iron rods. There we go. So we need six constructors for that. And autosave, okay. It's getting pretty long. Or 
five, six. Now these are for iron wire. All right, finish running splitters. And then we'll run the belts. Okay, and then now we need 10, 20, 30. We need 30 reinforced iron plates. We knew that. Put a splitter in. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, that was a good one. Let me use that five. And these need to be reinforced iron plates. Just something beautiful like this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And now iron plates. We need 120 per minute iron plates. So we'll do two solidifier and coolers. Iron plates. There and there. Casted iron plates. Oh, that just reminded me. I saw that there's a steam output. So we're going to need to output that. Let's go and get... Cooling platform and the steam cooling tower. This might be the worst factory I've ever built. <clears throat> and I love it. Iron and water again. 120 per minute iron plates. Let's just do it something like... Yes. Oh, this is getting even better. Perfect. Oh, and then all I have to do is run it right into there. Pre-installed splitters, what a genius. So we've got 20, 40, 60 of those. So we can merge these. There. I dubbed this the worst factory I've ever built. All right, what other issues can we fix? Oh, I'd like to fix this lagging. I don't know. I mean, it has to be just the sheer number of machines in one spot, right? Right? If you have any idea of why this could be happening, let me know. Because it's really frustrating me. All right, let's go find somewhere new to play. Well, you know what? We could just go into Tetra. I mean, it's just sitting here. We may as well use it. All right, I'm going to rebuild those temporary things. Since I showed it all in detail just very recently, I'm just going to do it really quick. Without time lapse, camera tricks, any, just turn on my headphones and rebuild it. Oh my god, I'm so bored. I kind of ran out of stuff that I wanted to work on. I'm battling a full inventory, usually, so I was trying to kind of do some deconstruction and I kept leaving crates which is annoying speaking of I want to turn those off my compass because I don't like them I started staring at that blank wall so I painted it and the colors of whatever pillar that is canopus I think I can't remember and I don't have my note on my desk anymore I don't know where it went but look at we're only two two away one minute away half a minute now and we are finally, finally done with phase three. And um, holy moly, oh, I didn't even show, I set this up, I had to make some more computers. Um, I got those, uh, what do you call them, adaptive units finished and then turned that machine off and pulled it down. And now here we're on the last one. We're gonna watch it go into the machine. And then we're going to launch it off, and we're done with phase three. There it is. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Feed the donut. Yeah, well, that's gonna... Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, this is taking so much filming. I just, um, let's see, I don't even know if I could see... 268. I've been leaving my machine to just idle, and then I'd walk away and come back a few hours, and nothing would have been done, because I forgot to empty the raw sludge, and I just don't even know more. I just don't even know anymore, man, woman. 
I just, I'm feeling a bit loopy. I think this, it didn't break me. I'm still in great spirits. Um, it's just, it's been a lot of waiting. Oh, why did I stop? <laughs> oh, I think it's probably the lag that I get over here. I don't even know why I'm talking like this. So some interesting things. I kept coming to check on this. Yeah, see it stopped again. This must be full. Yeah, so that's a reason. This is probably, okay, good. So steel production still going. This is gonna take absolutely forever to kick back on, which means these are gonna take forever to kick back on, which means like I'm not getting, I'm supposed to be getting 200 fuel to split up into all of these. And oh, it looks like we still have diesel going. So, so we're doing pretty well on power, all things considered. Let me see if this is 25,000 megawatts. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay, I can't stay here. I can't even open and close my menus in general. But just wanted to convey to you the feelings that I have. First off, I'm very excited now to be in phase... Whoa, 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 what am I doing? Why am I still talking? Why aren't we looking at phase four? Also, I gotta admit, I'm a little intimidated by those objects that I don't think I've ever seen before on the top right. Uh, mostly because if you can't tell, I've never actually beaten the game Satisfactory. I just like to make stupid videos for you guys. And then I get frustrated and restart. Alright, tiers 7 and 8. Interesting. I'm scrolling my wheel right now and nothing is moving, so we only have 5 milestones. In tier 7, they appear to be aluminum. So we're going to get our space elevator parts. The milestone costs aluminum sheets which I can't make yet, so that's surely not supposed to be the first one. That's not supposed to be the first one. This one is supposed to be the first one, I wager. Yep, yeah. nope, nope, those all require aluminum. So, 500 computers, 1,000 cobalt, 1,000 invar rods, plates, I mean, 500, okay, this is gonna actually take a while because I don't have huge stacks of them, but let's get into it, shall we? I don't wanna wait any longer. Um, but let's let's poke our nose around a little bit more. So we've got crotinium. That's apparently what what's that stuff called? Oh god, I can't remember. I've had a really roller coaster of emotions the last couple of minutes. Um, caustic soda, interesting. Aluminum ingots, sheets, casings, nitric acid, alumina, molten aluminum, bauxite. That's the one. Crotinium is the new bauxite. We're gonna get Mark V belts and stuff. We're going to be able to frack for, okay, wells. Very cool. Very, 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 really pretty cool. All clad sheets, fuse modular frames, heat sinks. Oh my gosh. Kind of tempted not to even click this button until we get a little bit of aluminum set up. What is that thing? Quantum processor. Okay, but you know what? Since I can see, since I can see this right here, I kind of want to know what it is. So we're gonna click the button. Oop. Titanium. Oh, work in progress. I didn't even know. I thought drones weren't even in here. Titanium modular frames. This will be titanium processing. Advanced electronics. What are these? Oh, just titanium. They have a really Really cool, pretty purple color. And then power relay, that's what that thing is. Rocket fuel. This is very cool. Why, in all that time that I spent putzing around, did I not think to build the slud, uh, the raw sludge solutions? I don't know. All right, let's look at what raw sludge does. I know it uses silica. Somebody gave me the great idea to bottle it and sink it and just be done with it. And I do love that idea. But these ones right here require plastic. These um, canisters to make. So to get the 120, we need we would need to use 120 of the plastic that we're building. Actually, now that I say all of that out loud, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. I could always build more. Okay, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's go back to sludge. If we want to get rid of 120 raw sludge, we need 120 silica. And then we're gonna get 60 water. 
crushed iron, crushed tin, crushed magnesium. I don't know if we have 120 per minute silica coming into the system. But let's find out. Alright, so. Cute spacebar fluid conditioner. We need four of these. So let's do an item sender and get some splitters silica. All right, now I want to build us some two meter foundations and put the fluid senders up there, right there we go, just for a nice flat pipe. The reason I'm doing four individual fluid senders is... I don't know, actually. Just to help it empty. In fact, I'm even going to use Mark III belts, or Mark III piping, and I certainly don't need to do that, but... Why didn't I do this forever ago? That's... <laughs> that's the question, right? Alright, now we just need to deal with the water. Something like that. Sounds good to me. Brilliant. Thanks again, I got a comment that told me that you can hover over this and it gives you a little bit of formatting tips. Really cool. Very, very pretty cool. After much running back and forth, I think we almost have it. And hopefully we have 29 more computers in here in this little storage I hooked up. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're right here. So just nine more. So what is that, one, two minutes? This is exciting. Look at all of that, how cool. Well, let's look for Crotinium and see what happens. That pure one right there will do us, will do us well. Let's, let's do it. I love the hover pack. Love it so much. Kind of feels nice being in a different biome. Biological water. There. We had a whole pack of hogs. All right, let's get the modular miner out and see what we see. Love you. Missing module. What module are you missing? Oh, well, it's missing a mining head for sure. What else would it be missing? Probably, probably need some sort of fluid. I never actually looked. Oh, it tells you right here. I never noticed this before. Or did I not? What I was thinking is that red means it can't have that, but that can't be right. Surely it could take them. Green means it has it, and blue means it needs it. Or maybe red means it needs it, and blue means it's optional. Low energy fluid. Yeah, fluid and gas. No fluid. What do you need? You need caustic soda. Awesome. So... What is caustic soda made from? Awesome. 
So cryolite and water. Do we have any cryolite over here that we haven't used? That's a good question. And I hope the answer is yes. I wonder if we have cryolite in the Faxit system. I don't think we do. I think stupidly run everything by belt. All right, we'll get a fluid sender. And we'll get some caustic soda. And then we're gonna mine some crotinium. It's only one kilometer. Do I have a parachute? I don't. All right, I'm just gonna fly there and then we'll fly back. Oh, sweet. We have a whole unused node right here. Oh, I love that. I love that so much for us. Yeah, yeah. You're not a real power outage. You're not my real dad, Gary. Sick. 240 per minute. Caustic soda. Item sender. Fluid sender. And I did those in a poor manner. Let's do that again. There. High quality H2O. There we go. I love it. In fact, it makes it so manageable to do this. Alright, 5% of the. 5% can be caustic soda. Now we're going to use the caustic soda. Please tell me this is 240 a minute. No, it's not. It's 300 a minute. Good. Let's head back to Tetra and... Oh, I love that. Look how cool that looks. It's part of the reason why I want to shell it up instead of having those there. If, this, if those were just four towers, even if they're just shells be a pretty cool thing to just copy and paste into the next world next time. There. All right. So what do we do? What do we do with this crotinium ore? Nice. Back to basics. Let's do it. We were getting 300, right? So let's, let's grab the crushers and let's figure out how many we're going to need. We want crushed crotinium. 60, we have 300, that's five machines. Stupid five. Did you guys watch the last Umbrella Academy season? I, uh... Yeah, it was dumb, it was silly. I I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. I nothinged it. But I'm sad that it's over. Item sender and splitters. And then so I don't forget this needs to be Mark IV, and then the rest is going to be, well, they'll be fine at Mark III. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if those are just Mark I belts. One thing I'd like to do in the 1.0 playthrough and all my future playthroughs is balance belt speeds with need. And I definitely want to use more sushi belts and more, what do you call them, instead of manifolds, using like a splitter array. So what do we do? with the crushed crotinium. I'm guessing, yeah, we sort it. Of course, we sort it with hydrochloric acid. So let's sort our outputs. You know, just to make it easier, let's just, here, let's grab fax item receivers. Let's put them on the crushed stone output of every single one of these. Let's see, yeah, this is the first time I think we've put crushed stone in. So we'll set a limit of five and we'll, our, we're going to allow it to sink. And that's just gonna make this really clean and easy without having to merge anything, uh, merge anything else. So we've got 65 times and we need that to go into 103 times. So, I mean, we'll just do it right here. Another thing I'd like to do in the 1.0 playthrough <laughs> Since it's on my mind right now. And, and I do plan, I put out a poll and asked if people want to see any videos about my prepping and preparation. And I'm certainly going to play a lot of the things close to the chest because I've been working on a lot of assets. I'm not going to say any more than that. It's nothing like mind blowing, but I'm pretty excited for it. 
but I do, uh, I was talking about using sushi belts and stuff like that, and I want to just change up the meta with which I play. Like, I, I pretty much do everything the same way, like, like this, you just, you just put the mergers, you know, put them in front of the outputs, and then you run them all together. And I'm not saying you have to do anything revolutionary, but, I don't know, just running every factory differently, having them up in the rafters in one factory, and I don't know, just being more creative. 60, 60, 60, 120, 60, 180, that needs to be Mark 3. 180, 240, that can still be Mark 3. 240, 300, this needs to be Mark 4. See, like, why, why do this? Why not now immediately split this? And what are we doing that in? Probably a sorter, yeah. So something like that. And then something like this. Oh, I know I mentioned it last time, it feels good to be building factories again. I don't think I ever- I don't ever want to do this again, where I switch focus so drastically. I want to do a little bit in every episode, a little bit of everything in every single episode. Okay, so this is going to be sorted crotinium. What was the title of that? Master sorting? Yes. Master sort. Be nice to get a little bit more crushed nickel out of this as well. We can up our invar production, which will help surely. Do I need to add anything to this? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so, fluid sender. Dirty hydrochloric acid. That's surely not something we have. All right, now we'll get item senders, and they're not gonna line up, and we're gonna hate it. And they're not even gonna fit. Great. All right, well, that one's fine. That one's fine. And that one's probably fine. Yeah, it worked out. No fuss, no muss. I don't know what must is, but I don't have it. And this is to be lime dust. Surely we have that in the Faxit system. We do. Hmm, looks like we don't have enough. Oh, that's dropping fast, isn't it? So, we'll get some more lime. Hmm. How do we get more lime? Nice, yeah, this is what we'll do. So let's get a crusher. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing one is enough. And then we'll do one item sender, one item receiver. Now we're going to crush up all that stone we're putting in. Let's do it. Stealing it. Fluid receiver. Pipe. Stolen. Maybe next episode we will build a proper acid factory. I'm not sure. I have not thought that far ahead because I wasn't really sure what was going to be found in tier 7 and 8. I mean, I, I did know it was aluminum and titanium. And I really wanted to see what titanium was like. So I do plan to get through that. But our episodes are numbered. In fact, we probably only have time for this one and maybe one more, maybe two more. But we are quickly drawing to our conclusion. All right, so now I can select, I think it's this one. Hydrochloric acid, nickel, lead, and bauxite. So this one's probably the bauxite. And this one's probably the lead. I think that's the last one in the list. 
This is the middle, yeah. Let's not change our game right now. And we're getting nickel from right here, which means we might not need to plug that back in over there. Mm, not fully. We are going to need cobalt. What do we do with the crushed bauxite? I'm guessing we smelt it. Nope. We blend it with caustic soda, water, and lime dust. Yeah, we've got the blender. I was just not in buildings. And make alumina. So we need lime dust, bauxite, caustic soda, and water. How cool. Cool, cool, cool is this? So we need item and fluid senders. And then plug them all in. And now we've got alumina solution. Now we're gonna make molten aluminum. All right, alumina solution, 40 per minute. Put the indicator on so I don't need to click on it to see that that is indeed the right building. I can't daisy chain to a blender. All right, and now we want molten aluminium. If you don't speak British English, that means aluminum. Carbon dioxide, petroleum, coke. Oh shoot. So we're gonna wanna take some of that HOR, that's a satisfactory slang for heavy oil residue, and make some petroleum coke. Petroleum coke. I should plug that in. Maybe oil residue is sick. I wish we could prioritize these so I could say, like, definitely fill this one up before sending it all to the diesel. There it is, perfect. And now we need CO2. Interesting. We actually need CO2 in a product line. That is very, very cool. Can I burn those capsule things? What do you do with those capsules? Remember, you can turn 60 of them into 15 solid biofuel, and then we can burn this in a biomass heater to make carbon dioxide. Let's put down, I have no idea how many of those capsules we make, so let's just put down four, and then we want to make solid biomass fuel, paste the recipe in, get an item sender, of course I put all the lines in the way. That's okay, this is purely an informative exercise, and no entertainment will be found. Biomass capsules. We want a boiler platform, and then we want a biomass heater, and that's it. Will it not burn without water? Or will it not burn without a boiler? Aha! So we don't need to provide the water. It's still gonna burn the fuel. And now what are we doing with this? Where are we putting it again? Put it right here, right? There we go. So now we've got molten alumina. We need to deal with the water. So to deal with the water, let's let's wait for the autosave and then it'll interrupt me. And then what I'm going to say is we're going to take a fax at fluid sender. We're gonna move it back to give us room to put one of those junctions on. Like so. Tilt the junction so it points up. We need to find the water output. I'm guessing it's that one. I guessed wrong. We're going to put it like that. Meaning the higher input gets priority. 
So this will always get used before this water gets used, which means this will always get its 20 water from right here. Can I just delete that? Can we just recycle the water the whole time? Looks like we can. So now what do we do with molten aluminum? My guess is we put it into the solidifier and make ingots. Yeah, and that's what makes sense. Oh boy, that's how you make sheets too. Okay, and so the last thing we need to do is apply the molten aluminum to the solidifier and cooler with a little bit of water. And we're done. So solidifier and cooler. Let's grab the fluid center. Let's set it right in the center. And then grab a pipeline junction, except I really want my hover pack. If I don't have my hover pack, I am not happy. We're going to get interrupted here in three, two. All right. Let's plug it in there. There. Let's grab the pipeline junction crossing. Make sure that's nice and even. Let's set our recipes. We want aluminum ingots and we want aluminum sheets. So that's aluminum sheets and steam. And this is aluminum ingots and steam. All right, and then right behind it, just for funsies. We'll do a little bit of water. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I like that thing. Yeah, so that's gonna do it. We have unlocked tier 7 and 8. We've reviewed them. We know that tier 7 is aluminum. Tier 8 is titanium. Uh, we went up into the red bamboo forest, the red forest, red bamboo fields, whatever they are. We went over there. Got some bauxite, brought it in. We got to play with caustic soda. It was just uh, really cool. We got to explore a lot of new items. We even built a blender, which is just really, very, really, very cool. And we're going to finish it up. I don't know if it'll be next episode or the one after that. Um, but um, I suspect we are nearing the end. I'm not even going to try to automate the phase four parts, I don't think. Um, it's just, you know, we've done it all before. I'm going to turn the aluminum stuff into aluminum casings, and I'm going to combine those with other things. And just even over here, my game is getting so laggy right now. In this area, I don't know if it's Faxit, if it's the mods, if it's just Tetra itself is so massive that we just have so many pieces of concrete. I don't know. But um, yeah, we'll talk more about it next episode after I decide what we're going to do. So appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye now. Bad plays game. Bad plays game. Bad plays.